When we are learning mechanics, especially when we are talking about the gravitation, there a very very important term comes, a very very uh, important uh, constant comes, universal constant that is called universal gravitation constant and that we represent by capital G and the value of the capital G is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meter square per kg square or kg inverse 2, alright? If you know this value, all right, that's superb. Or even if you know this unit, that's superb. But if you don't know these things, still you can write the dimensional formula of this universal gravitation constant. As I told you, the two methods, you know, I already mentioned two methods, one using the formula, another using the, uh, the, the, the unit. By looking unit, you know, you can easily write the dimensional formula of this uh, universal gravitation constant. You can put the value of Newton, that is force. Force is actually uh, mass times acceleration. All right, so it's it's a mass times acceleration. Unit of the acceleration is, yes, meter per second square. All right, that's Newton. And now meter square, again we have, again another meter square. And again, kz inverse 2, we have kz inverse 2. So, uh, Finally, what are we getting? We're getting kz inverse 1 meter cube and second minus 2. So, dimensional formula of universal gravitation constant is getting uh, m minus 1 meter that is l cube second that represents time. So, time minus 2. So, this is the uh, universal gravitation constant's dimensional formula. But it may happen like we don't know the, the, the unit, all right? The value is far let's say we don't know the unit then that time we know the universal gravitation law given by Newton that is force in in universe you know uh, the force existing between any two heavenly bodies or any two bodies is G m1 times m2 divided by the uh, square of the distance between them all right so from here what you can say that G equals to force times r square divided by m1 times m2 and what's force force is mass times acceleration all right uh, and acceleration is velocity divided by time that means change in velocity divided by time all right times r square and m1 into m2 and now let's put all the values velocity is a dimension formula we know so dimension formula of this mass is m and dimension formula of this velocity is uh, length per second so l t minus 1 all right dimension formula of this uh, r square that is distance square that is again l square all right and divided by t that is time all right times mass times mass so there are two masses mass 1 and mass 2 and now few things are being cancelled this mass and this mass so it's going to be uh, this mass will have the power 1 so when it will go up it will be negative mass minus 1 and if you talk about now length here is 1 and here is 2 so it's going to be L cube and T minus 1 and there is T plus 1 so this plus 1 will go up with minus 1 so T minus 2 so the dimensional formula of universal gravitation constant is m to the power minus 1 l to the power 3 and t minus 2 it means minus 1 dimension is in in, in mass a 3 dimension in length and minus 2 dimension in time okay